Are you a SharePoint site owner trying to help out a user who has an alert they want to get rid of? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. Just stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's get that timer rolling. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the gear icon. You're going to go to site information. And you're going to go view all site settings. And you're going to look for user alerts. It's under site administration. We're going to go to user alerts. And we're going to find that user. There's that pesky user. We're going to update this. And then we can see these are all the alerts for that user. We can select it and we can click on delete selected alerts. We say OK. And then ba bam, it's gone. You did it. All right. So let's slow it down a little bit and let's talk about alerts a little bit in general. Real quick though, before we get started, thank you so much for your support. We're almost at 4,000 followers. If you find some value here, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And again, your views help with ad revenue. The ad revenue goes right into paying for the Office 365 subscription so that you can see this SharePoint tutorials. So thank you in advance. And show you the different ways that you can uh, you know, create an alert and how to get rid of an alert. So. We're going to go back here. We're just going to go back here and we're going to go back to our uh, menu and go to that list. It's called gaming consoles. And so let's say, for instance, someone went through and they created themselves a handy dandy alert. So they want to alert me and they walk through the changes. They go, blah, blah, blah. I want to know about all changes and anything changes. Little known fact here, if you say all changes and anything changes, you're going to get notified whenever your account makes a change. So um, if you don't want that to happen, you may want to switch it to one of these someone else options. But let's say they went ahead and they made that alert. And then they come to you and they say, you know, I keep getting all these uh, alerts. I don't need them anymore, but I can't figure out how to get rid of it. Well, you could just say, hey, give them some self-service and say, you know what? Click the triple dotty dot dots and go to manage my alerts. So this is the end user per perspective. They can select it and then delete it. OK, uh, but if maybe time is short, uh, they couldn't be bothered with it, so then you do it for them. In that case, you're going to just go to the site uh, where the alert lives, and you're going to click on your gear icon, and we go to site information. We'll have to bypass this actual screen, go to view all site settings, and then we're going to look in the site admin area here, and this is where you can see all the user alerts that exist on this site. Now we can select what user we're looking for, click on update, there's the alert, you select it, delete selected alerts, hit OK, and you are good to go. So there you go, there's a couple of ways you can access the alerts and get rid of them if you need to. Hopefully this helps you. If you found something you like, please like, share, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. And remember, do the best you can with what you got, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.